Welcome to EMCC's Room Reservation Portal. These are the basic instructions for reserving space on campus. To access the portal, go to our website and select Calendar at the top right of the page. Once on the calendar page, the link is the third line down, Book Space at EMCC for your next event. These two images are the most common for you to use in the system. One is the room reservation portal page, while the other is the calendar. The calendar displays classes for the current terms as well as our reserved space. All employees and guests must create an account for the first time. EMCC uses a single sign-on, which may make the sign-on experience slightly different for each person. Select Get Started and follow the steps to create your account. There are two ways to schedule a space. One is going directly from the portal, selecting a room, or hover over the blue left side bar and select Create an Event. The following instructions are based on selecting create an event. Once you select create an event, you will see the standard event reservation form. We categorize events for tracking purposes, and if you don't see your group in the drop down box, select EMCC Campus Event. Follow that with the name of your event and a brief description. Next is selecting a room. Rooms can be searched by building, by lab, by conference room, or by classroom. Using the drop down box, you can scroll through and find your room. If you use the list view, you can expand buildings to see all the individual rooms as demonstrated in the image on the right. Selected room or rooms must have setup information. This is your opportunity to tell us exactly how you'd like the room arranged. You can describe your setup such as leave as a classroom, set up as a hollow square. Following this, add the number of your guests. Then you get to select your date and your time. When you select a time, there is a tab on the time blue box that allows for expanding it for longer hours during the day. You can also create recurring meetings by selecting the pencil next to multiple day options. In that pop-up box, you can edit the recurring dates, then select Save. Once the date and time is set, you can create specific tasks for your event. You can create ones for custodial, for IT, and even security. Tasks for facilities and IT automatically go to our ticketing or work order system. That way, everyone in that division gets to see what you need. It's important to note when creating a task that you include any event detail like unlocking doors for security or providing an owl by IT, adding additional trash bins for facilities maintenance. All events are also categorized like internal nonprofit event or internal academics. Please scroll through that drop down box and find an appropriate category. Finally, you get to provide your contact information. 
Then select the small box next to I agree to the terms and conditions. Then select Submit. If there are any questions or we need to change your room arrangements, we can give you a call. After hitting Submit, you can return to the calendar and you should be able to find your event. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to contact Terry or Cheryl. You can also follow the link below for more detailed instructions on how to manage your event. Congratulations, you just scheduled your event. Thanks.